Hello and welcome to the somewhat grim surroundings of House Dinnies, surrounded by these fearsome looking uh, ballistas, of which more later, for what will be our level 21 episode of Purple Dust Potions. We arrived in Epic with a bang, no pun intended, and um, I'm hoping to, uh, to keep our momentum going here. What do we have to share in this one? Right, um, criminally, I forgot to dwell on. You did see it if you were looking uh, when I um, showed the enhancements um, for level 20. But the capstone for level 20 in Bombardier is a spell-like ability copy of the multivile of your choice. So we can now have two multivials going. So we've got the fully metered spell-like ability one, which is generally enough to finish most uh, groups, I'm finding. And the standard one, which is only just quickened. Also, in that uh, capstone, we're getting four intelligence, two conjuration DC. So very nice there. Of course, it's on the bar and it's the main go-to when uh, trouble strikes. I tend to try to lead against uh, bosses, as you know, with uh, the elemental combination to trigger the um, vulnerability potential if we happen to be in pyrite state. And then the two big multivials. From 23, I'm hoping to be able to fully meta everything with the... Um, uh, what do you call it, evergreen thing in primal that's coming. Feet for 21, you might see it there. I took Wellspring, which might tell you that I'm hoping to go up in the Draconic uh, Destiny. Uh, and eventually you'll get the pull from the Wellspring to get more use from that. Um, I think in the fullness of time we may end up using the Dragon's Breath and I, I would love to recreate the, the thing I remember, go with the um, energy burst to, to go very nicely with the flash freeze. I, I definitely look forward to uh, having a try at that. That's going to give us an embarrassment of riches then. We're going to have energy burst and the two multivials <laughs> to, to go off. If, if the opponents are mo frozen or mostly frozen, they're going to take some really heavy damage, but that's in our future. For the moment, I think the little carrion swarm is doing rather well. I had reason to be very glad for it when I ran out of uh, mana on one occasion in a recent quest. And I kind of cheesed the end just with the carrion swarm, so that was good. The two spell-like abilities have obviously got full metas. Still making a little bit of use of the caustic obliteration that's got the metas on and it, it does okay. I'm not uh, overwhelmed by it by any means, but uh, it's something. Okay. Um, core 4 in the Reaper Tree for level 21 in Grim Barricade. Awesome. Plus 1 on saves, 100 maximum hit points just to... Uh, fleshes out a little bit. I guess that's our Achilles heel this life. The hit points are so low, but um, the the gear is by no means amazing. For I mean, do we? I realised coming into Epic that we didn't have a a um, intelligence item helping us. Do we have much in the way of con? We must have something, surely. There's a useless wisdom one there. Insightful con three. Wouldn't that be just like me to have no con at all? Right. <laughs> I think true to form, we will uh, we will make a stop in. Um, giant hold to rectify that before uh, going on now this allows me to to uh, mention the other thing i was i was checking the um 
just to see where we were with the saves. I mean, the reflex save is pretty good because I've uh, devoted some of our epic um, points. There's two in there and another four reflex saves in there to, to boosting it up some. So I would expect us to be around, what, 70 in uh, Reaper now, which for low epic is pretty good, I think, to help our evasion. We can still fail on a one, obviously. So yes, let's go to Giant Hold. What's the best way to... Can we reach our guild ship reasonably easily from here? I think we can. Let's go to Giant Hold and acquire a Constitution Augment. That's just criminal. And while we are going there, I can tell you the story of our recent foray into Storm the Beaches. Now, those of you who know the Denise uh, chain will know that uh, on Epic, those ballistas are insanely overpowered, one-shotting everything. Uh, and they seem to be able to see invisible targets as well. So, I thought to myself, why don't we take our friend the frog in there? I hadn't been in there for ages, I just avoided it like the plague, because I thought this one-shotting business just isn't for me, and from extreme range as well. And I thought, maybe we could do to them what's been done to us recently. And so I did. One-shot everyone until the last one, which, unbeknownst to me, had seen me while I was picking off a, a, one of the closer opponents and one shot bang dead I did manage to jib us up to salvage a, an honourable draw from the quest but um, they're still as powerful as ever but I'm just glad to say that's yet another one on the uh, list of things that you can totally turn to frog and uh, it wasn't one I would have expected to be able to do so uh, if you didn't know the vendors in Giant Hold, you can get augments from level 12, 16. 16 is my favourite because you can get those with heroic uh, ingredients. If you want the 20, let me turn, 20 or 24, you've got to pay with epic uh, ingredients, which is the restored relics. And it, given that it's only plus one, difference over the 16 ones I went with the 16 because I've got loads more of that stuff so let's get our uh, augment slotted in I mean as, as most of you probably do giant hold anyway on your way up you'll have these ingredients so you no harm in just uh, picking up uh, whatever you need to just uh, make things a bit better now wisdom is totally redundant for us this life so why not uh, go in there and supersede you don't have to uh, take them out jewelers kits are expensive so don't bother taking the thing out unless you really want to save it like something like a master's uh, gift or something just supersede it with the one you want and happy days Wisdom I mentioned in a previous episode, we have um, a feat, a bonus alchemist feat, uh, giving us wisdom to will, sorry, giving us intelligence to will save as well. So we've got insightful reflexes auto granted, which gives us intelligence to reflex save, and we've got intelligence to will save, which we took for a bonus alchemist feat as well. And the con, as you can see, has gone up nicely. So have our hit points. So shame on me for not doing that sooner. And we have a decent fortitude save now as a result as well. So the saves, whilst not paladinesque, are certainly in a decent place now. Um, let's go back to Dennis. I look forward to working with you in the future. So yeah, that was a pretty um, epic uh, journey in the um, Storm the Beaches quest. <laughs> I was delighted to uh, come through there. I'm doing all these, well I tend to do them anyway, but I'm very short of the, um, what do you call them for reincarnation, the tokens of the 12 and these lower level um, 
Eberron epic quests do give one full token each at the end for doing them on uh, at least elite difficulty. I don't like farming so I, I just do the uh, one of each uh, which other chains give. Denise, Red Fens, uh, Desert Sands, um, Lords of Dust chain gives them. I think that may be about it. Well worth uh, doing anyway. Um, what else have we got? Feet, I think I mentioned Wellspring. Yeah, so at the moment only 30 seconds. I've put them all down here together, these short-term uh, uh, power boost. I'm hoping to not to ignore them completely as I have done in the past. Um, what's this? Oh, yeah. I have added, I forgot to mention in the last one, Epic Dust Cart from the found, found in the Sands chain in the wilderness. Um, very nice. I don't particularly rate it as a heroic level 12 item, but Epic, so you've got Death Ward, um, three charges. It's an AoE, so you can give it to your whole group. You, it could even be nice to wear that in the trinket slot if we look at the dodge which I didn't have so yeah nice item that's one of only two things the alchemist doesn't have that I would really want the death ward and the d-door and that's it he has everything else and usually more and better than uh, any other class like the uh, 30 dr stone skin he's getting gold skin uh, the dodge augment I mentioned earlier slotted into our orb that's come from the Randall Lyric vendor in Evening Star. If you didn't know, you can get a whole array of uh, augments, including for endgame, from these uh, various Randall Lyric vendors scattered around the um, expansions. Each expansion has one, so Evening Star, Shan. Uh, Isle of Dread, you name it, they're all over the place. If you just check the wiki for the one you want, I think you'll find uh, there's plenty of good stuff to be had out there. Usually for uh, mysterious, mysterious remnants and um, ingredients uh, relating to the pack you're taking the augment from. So in my case, I went to Evening Star and it was asking for commendations from various... Um, was it villagers and clerics or whatever it is it asks you for? If you've, like me, played through the Evening Star chains often enough, you'll have got plenty of those to be uh, using anyway. Um, what else have we got down here? I swapped in Invisibility for Melt Lock because, as mentioned previously, Melt Lock is going to a stage now where it's not uh, working on anything. So I figured we'd get more mileage out of invis. I'll use that instead of the uh, smoke bomb, I think, now. Um, and that's about it. I mentioned our epic adventure against the Ballisters. So let's um, go ahead and try to conclude the chain here. We're going to have a go at the... Uh, Tide turns <coughs> the final quest in the Denise chain here. It should test our powers of, ev of evasion because there's plenty of traps in here. So let's just take a moment to see where we're at. Uh, I don't think. Did I bring up the epic destinies? Yes, I did, didn't I? Otherwise, I've, apart from the reflex saves in the dra draconic thing, I've, I've taken a bit more spell power in there as well. So in Reaper now, spell power wise, Acid is the, the main one, of course, with going towards 500. So that's not bad. Um, in fact, we'll be over 500, won't we, with the uh, spell power boost and the corrosion boost if I remember to trigger it. So 74 reflex save. That's that's not bad for the level we're at, I think. Not bad at all. And it'll go up to 76, I guess, because we go it's based off intelligence and we have a four bonus on intelligence there. 
We do have a weakness against electric though, because I obviously don't have that on my gear and my Fialan buffs have run out. So basic strategy, colour spray and flash freeze everything multi vile froggy to finish and against bosses elemental combo and the multi vials hope to remember to use the uh, power boosts including wellspring and keep the corrosion erosion rather going as well Now this section, if you're not um, comfortable, you can try and bait the things into uh, the area with all the soldiers at the start. I think some of them at least do come wandering through there. Oh, hello mister. I don't quite know what happened to you, but I'll take it. We're using the um, we're using the um, primal mantle, which, as far as I'm aware, it's only the thorn spells, so poison and acid, which um, trigger the bonus mantle damage. Unlike draconic, which can trigger off a color spray or something. So we did a color spray there, and he died. Maybe we still had some ticking. Uh, shard storm going on okay so remember I'm looking as much as possible to make targets helpless so they take extra damage from us or like this just to delete them outright with the froggy He's a bit of a boss, so let's just try and get rid of him if we can. You can just be frog. That was definitely the shard storm that accounted for that one. So as mentioned before, I'm not paying too much attention outside of the boss fights to the reaction state we're in. If I want to do a frog, I'll do a frog and take us out of orange and so be it. I'm not uh, worrying too much about that. Now what I do worry about is this air jet thing in this section. I'm forever getting blown all over the place by it. So I'm more than happy to get away from that section and not to be made to look foolish. we don't fall down there the things down there will stay there and not bother us this one's for you Klitsch collecting the collectible oh no don't blow me out oh no 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 where are we okay could have been worse I could have just climbed up the ladder down there, couldn't I? 
Okay. Oh, come on. These are so clunky to get through. What's going on here? Go on. Up and over. That's it. Freeze. That worked pretty well. Now, while the spell power boost is still going, can we go and get the second lot of rats as well, perhaps? Happy days. Uh, shrine? Yes, I think we're better. Tell you what we'll do. We'll clear this out first and then do the shrine. Press the wrong key there. I didn't mean to do wellspring, but it's probably as well because I would never have used it otherwise. Let's keep going. Let's. Uh oh, actually, we can't, can we? Okay, let's take the shrine now. Ah, a nice quiet moment for me to work on the story of your adventures. As you can see, we're dishing out a fair bit of damage here. We're not able to take much, if any, in return. So that's still an issue, but um, provided we can keep things held and what have you, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope. If they can be hit by the traps, we should be all right not to be followed through there. Come on then. As the magical shields vanish, you hear the Denise mercenaries below cheer at your victory. Always like to get them to come together if we can. using cocoon to top up even with the reaper nerf we're not doing too bad with that okay i think this is a bit of a yolo i might come to regret it oh okay that was a nice one Storm pick off the ones behind us, hopefully. This door leads out to the very top of the tower. This must be the path for pirates. The tower's exterior teams with pirates. Scream. Frog is having a bit of a field day here. Multivile for the Reapers. If they are frozen first with the colour spray, they take the nice bonus damage. I'm just going to sneak in here. If we can. Oh, come on, get in. Yeah. You hear raised voices screaming about the loss of the Even if we didn't have the sprint boost from Falconry, uh, Alchemist does have it anyway as a um as a spell so that's another really nice uh 
element. They, they literally do have everything you could want, apart from the D-Door and the Death Ward. It's the most complete set of buffs easily in the game, in my opinion. Right, let's remember our uh, power boosts. And let's go and get stuck into this lot. We did manage to get the elemental combo there. And we are in pyrite reaction, so that's very good. I've got some nice purple numbers coming there. Get our gold skin back on. And he's down. Our boosts will be off cooldown, or two of them will, so we can... Uh, redo those before going into the last bit and we're out of um, uh, we're out of the the right uh, reaction we want to be in we want to be doing some red oh famine we want to be doing some red ones and a yellow one and now we're in pyrite again oh crud don't want that forgot to do the death ward again after resting there we go got the nice purple numbers going again and he's cheated and disappeared Is he going to come back on full health? I guess he is. Oh, I can't. Of course I can't. Come on. Press the wrong keys. Nice, purple. Yes. Beautiful. So we did eventually manage to uh, show the thing I've been talking about. We were in the pyrite uh, reaction, the orange. We hit him with the elemental combination, three different types of damage. We're not bothered which ones really, just three different types can trigger the um, vulnerability from this enhancement here. And then that's why you saw the purple numbers coming up when the multivials were hitting because he was being made to be vulnerable. So he took a bit more damage there from us. The, the four neg right? levels weren't ideal, but we managed. And if we get uh, more than one chest with tokens in it, I'll be delighted. Why am I still messing about taking only bits? We have enough... Uh... Oh no, we don't have enough carry load to... Uh... To do more than that. So I better just go and sell to the vendor. These, um, if you didn't know, the Denise uh, loot, they all come as level 5. You can upgrade them easy enough to level um, 20 or even the legendary levels, should you wish to do so. I think that's demonstrated amply that we are. Uh, more than capable of dishing out uh, the pain and controlling the battlefield reasonably well what we're not capable of doing is taking it when it comes back uh, our way so anything that is not um, held or subdued in some way is going to give us a very bad time indeed were it not for that I would uh, definitely consider upping the difficulty level because uh, damage output wise we definitely seem to have uh, have the measure of most things the the boss is a little bit of a problem but I mean even uh, if we take um, Kratos in that last quest as a as a sort of a yardstick I've been in there um, for ages and ages trying to chip that bugger down so what we did against him was actually quite reasonable 
as a fresh level 20 so I'm, I'm not even complaining about that I think we're in a decent place and I think uh, we're only going to get stronger once we get to 23 and we have that evergreen and we start being able to maximize both multivials it's going to be uh, a, a brave opponent that would stand against us I think let's put it that way okay onwards and upwards thanks very much as always for looking and we'll speak to you in the next one Take care.